folks, another one of my videos. Now, this one is a follow on from the video that you might have seen on very minimal makeup. I'm going to do full makeup so you are seeing me with a very bare face. So I'm just going to do one half so we can actually see if there's an improvement. If there's an improvement. So, first things first, let's get rid of everything up here so I can do it properly and I will be as quick as I can and if you're watching on YouTube I'll put all the information below so you know where to buy things you like the look of um, if you're watching on Instagram I will mention who everyone is um, and tag as much as I can so look at me horrific uh, first thing I do most importantly now I love Pry you must have seen all my videos on Pry products so the first thing I do, other than moisturising, which I've already done, is to use a little of their amazing eye lift product. I'm just going to do the right side so we'll actually see if it looks better. And then I'm using their decrease, which is for the bags. Anyone else suffering from big bags? Oh, they're so annoying. Anyway, this is called decrease, so it gets rid of the creases under your eyes and the bags, hopefully. So, I use several BB creams and a tiny bit of foundation, so this may look a bit lengthy. Uh, first one is Sarah Chapman. This has got SPF 30 in it, so this is my go-to sort of foundation you have to put it in really really well smooth it right in so that's sarah chapman lovely little hint of a tint but if i'm going out at night i want a bit more help trini you know trini's makeup i like hers as well it gives a lovely glow to the skin well i hope it does <laughs> we'll see afterwards and you might look at the two sides and go that look much different and then makeup revolution love makeup revolution if i can open it um i'm not really keen on foundation but they do do a very good foundation and i just use very little just to add that perfect for on camera perfect for a very important day out look at that look how that's smoothing everything so that's better you don't have to use all three, I'm just showing you the options. You could just go straight to Makeup Revolution Foundation. So, that looks better, doesn't it? Trini has also brought out... I've got the right thing. I've got so many things here, no glasses on. Um, a little blemish coverer. And fantastic for the lines. So any bits that you're not happy with, I'm going to have to put my glasses on and tell you what this is called. But it's another Trini product. Now it doesn't get rid of the lip lines, but it certainly disguises them a bit. And that is called, you know what I haven't brought with me? A cloth. I'm going to have very dirty fingers. And anyone watching who says, you shouldn't put your fingers in the cream, I don't care. Miracle Blur. That's what the Trini product is. So I hope it's miraculously blurring. It looks better already, doesn't it? I'm asking Leah, who's doing the cameras. She's not speaking today. She's in a non-speaking mood. So Miracle Blur, definitely go to. And look fabulous forever. I use for under the eyes and the deep shadows. So that's a lot of prep work, but worth it for that special day out. And you should tap, shouldn't you? I should have tapped up here, sorry. Anyone who's professional at makeup will be horrified by what I'm doing. But this is how I do it. So I think that's as good as I can get that side of my face. I don't know if you can see a difference. I certainly can, yes. So then, eyes. So I use, oh, I actually like this as well. This was from MAC, they gave me a little sample. Great for the evening, look, you can just add a little highlighting there. I like that, and a little highlighting there. 
I hope you've got a cup of tea while you're watching this. It's going on forever. Um, so a little bit of highlighter there. And then I will use a little bit of eye makeup up there. So what I do for straggly eyebrows as well as eyeliner is this is from MAC and it's, oh, let me give you the name because you'll like it. Everybody always comments on it. And it's so te teddy. It's teddy eye coal and it's got a slight shimmer in it. Anyway, I do the eyebrows. So thinning eyebrows, there's so many eyebrow powders around. I have found nothing that looks as good as this. I do get them cut and tinted about once a month, but look at that. And then while I'm here, this is my eyeliner. I can't do really good eyeliner, but you get the general idea. So that's hopefully opening the eyes a bit more. Um, and if I'm really going to town, I was gifted this lovely Dior palette. Look at that. So, oops. <laughs> so that is great for traveling. So I'm just going to do a tiny bit of eye makeup just to see. I'm actually quite curious to see if it opens up my eyes as much as you're wondering if it opens up my eyes. So I'm using a couple of browns. See, I, I think the older you get, the worse it is to do good eye makeup. But it's sort of working. And a little bit more highlighter up there. Right, so do all that like that. Sorry, am I muttering now? I'm muttering. Why do we always open our mouths when we're doing things like this? It's pretty weird. A um, bit more eyeliner. Does that look any better, Leah? Or do I just look exhausted? Um, and revolution again for a touch of mascara. Ah, mouth open. So... I'm sure I could do my eye makeup much better than that, but I don't want to keep you sitting here with your... It's very bad on ageing eyes, isn't it? There we are. That's better. I think that's better. Um, hope it's helping anyway, yes. Look at tutorials for eye makeup because there are lots of top tips all over the internet. And I'll get better at it and share another one. So, blusher. This is an old Bobbi Brown one. Look, it's broken, it's so old. But I love it because it just... Apple. Remember the apple? I was taught by a makeup artist ages ago. Apple off the cheek. So that's looking better. And finally, lippies. I don't always use the lip liner. But I'm doing it for these purposes because it just looks a bit smarter. My fave at the moment is Makeup Revolution again because they sent me the most gorgeous pink. Mm -hmm. Now I should be doing it with a lip liner. I know I'm being very unprofessional. But then I'm not a professional makeup artist. Oh, to have one of those here. And a little bit of gloss. I like a little bit of gloss. I think Matt's quite aging on me. Tidy the eyebrow. Bit more there. And take that all off. And that's it. Does it look better? I do hope so. Please comment, please ask any questions you might have and subscribe and comment, yes, and do all that stuff and I'll be thrilled to pieces. See you very soon.